Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux on a virtual machine. Uh, we're going to use UTM. Uh, this virtual machine is uh, basically working for M1 and M2. I used to run VirtualBox before, but on the newer uh, version of Apple, you cannot do that anymore. So I found a different solution. Uh, however, I watch online other videos, uh, how to install Kali Linux and uh, other operative system as well. But I encounter a lot of uh, issues and it kind of take me a lot of, a, a bit of time to find out what, uh, how to solve them. So today I'm just going to show you um, how I did it and hopefully going to help you out to speed up the process. So first of all, we go to uh, UTM website where we download the virtual machine. There are two options here, uh, Mac App Store here costs $9.99. Um, if you wanna donate uh, to them, but you, it's not necessary. You can just download the entire file right here. I'm not gonna do it because I already have it, but uh, it's just like a regular installation uh, of any other app. After you download uh, the file, um, you can basically click on it and run it. And something like this will show up. And so we will create a new machine. But before of that, we have to download the Kali Linux operative system. Uh, file. So we go on Kali Linux, Kali.org. Here's the website. We just click on download. We go down. And here there are different type. Um, for the new Apple, so M1 and M2, we are going for silicon. IR, uh, IRM64, we go for the installer and we download the actual file. So these 2.9 gigabyte file is gonna take a while. I already have the file with me, so I don't have to download it. Uh, do not download the other two. I tried, I couldn't figure it out why it didn't work. Even in other video, they suggest to do that. So for me, this worked. And so that's what I'm gonna show. And so you download the file. In my case, I already, ha already have it in my Kali Linux folder. The file will end with .ios. And uh, after you have that downloaded, you can just go on, uh, on UTM and click on new machine. We do virtualize with the Linux. Here we have to browse and look for the folder. Where is the installer file? So we browse. I'm already in the right folder. So I click on Kali Linux .iso. We continue. Here you can select how much RAM you want to use. In my case, I already have installed a Kali Linux. So here just for a, for a trial, uh, I'm just going to put a little less. Here you can set up how many CPU core you want to use. Uh, I just leave it default for now. Then you do continue here. How much uh, hard drive you want to you want to use? You want to partition for Kali Linux? Um, I think you cannot go lower than thirty. Um, so I don't. I do not suggest to go lower than thirty. Um, and then you just click continue. Here you can set a pub directory so you can you know, save file uh, on Kali Linux and they will be also available on the Mac uh, is optional. In that case, you just click browse and then you decide what folder you wanna put it on. I'm not gonna do it. I mean, I don't need to. And then we do continue. Here you can save the machine with different name. I'll just leave Linux here for the moment, and then you do save. Okay. So it looks pretty straightforward. You can just 
click on it and it's supposed to run. Um, you see there is install right there. However, my problem was that when I actually click install, it will just give me a, this black page and nothing happens and it won't mount. So what I found out, you're just going to close this window and then you click on the on the on the virtual machine on with the right and then you do edit and then here on device you can click new and we create a new serial okay so then you click on the serial make sure everything is okay you can change the font so you can recognize which one which window is what um and then save and then when we're gonna run it, two windows are gonna pop out. As we can see, the main window, and then this little window then says then says terminal one. So we're not gonna work on the first big window, we're gonna work on the terminal one windows to install. So you just click on it and then you go on install. You can move with the with the keyboard. You do on the install, you click enter, and then here is gonna mount. Um, this new operative system. Then you do English. In my case, area United States, American English. Just wait. It's not gonna take as as long as it as it seems, but as is okay. Just be patient. So yeah, as I said before, I had I had run into some issue, like try to download it before. So uh, this is, in my opinion, the fastest way. Um, house name, just keep it Kali, it's fine. We change the name. Here we just call. Mr. Mozzarella. Just Mozzarella. Okay, we continue. And you select, you pick a password. Continue. You select the time. My case is Pacific. I will suggest to just, you know, if you if you're not hands-on, just uh, just do the entire disk uh, guided. That's the easiest way. You can also set up an uh, encrypted way to um, to store your files and the information. This is the easiest, so I'll just go for that. Just confirm, confirm, in shop, say yes, and then you wait. Here, there are some default program you can install. Uh, I'll just leave it the way it is. I'm really interested in other stuff. That's pretty straightforward. You don't have to keep the two windows running uh, after you install the entire operative system. So I'll show you how to delete that just in case. Um, if you do run an, an, an encrypted version of the hard disk file system, you do have to keep the serial. Uh, so you need to have the two windows running at the old time. So every time you open, you have to basically enter a password to um, decrypt uh, the hard disk. I just did it for myself just to keep, you know, uh, extra layer of security. 
in my art disk because I'm playing around with Kali Linux and uh, I'm not really familiar with it, with it, so you never know. But I'll be safe, but sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have to do the same thing for other operative system. So if you try to run maybe um, a window, uh, OS, probably you have to do the same thing. I haven't tried yet, but uh, I do believe that might be the way of doing it. Um, maybe I'll try it. I'll try it out and uh, see if that's the case and maybe make another video. Um, or if I run into other issue, I might make a video so I can explain all uh, the solution for the windows. Here we just hit continue. And that's it. We can now close both windows and quit. Now here we clean, we clear uh, the, the CD DVD. And uh, we also right click, edit, and we can remove this. And then we can run it. There we go. We have it. Welcoming Kali Linux. Okay, guys, I hope this was uh, useful and uh, it could save you some time. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Or if you would like to see more content, please consider to subscribe.